the aspect of bhakti in Sri Pada Saptadi of Mirpatu Narayana Bhatta. The concept of bhakti has developed through the ages as starting from the Vedic period. The term bhakti is referring to the devotion and the love of the personal God or a representational God by a devotee. The word bhakti is derived from the root vajsevaya which means to serve, it denotes love, adoration, worship, etc. There are different types of bhakti at different places mentioned in the Bhagavata. The nine of them are popular kinds of bhakti. These are mentioned by Prahada to his father Hiranyaka Shibu. Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnuho, Smaranam, Pada Sevanam, Archanam, Vandanam, Dasyam, Sakyam, Atmani, Vedanam. Shravanam means hearing about the glories and the name of the Lord. Kirtanam, chanting the holy name and the qualities of the Lord. Smaranam, remember, remembering the Lord's name and his pastime. Pada Sevanam, serving the Lord intensely attached to the thinking of the Lord's lotus feet. Archanam, worshipping the Lord. Vandanam, offering prayers to the Lord. Dasyam, thinking oneself to be the servant of the Lord. Sakyam, intimate association with the Lord Atmani Vedanam, the stage at which one who has no motive other than to serve the Lord surrenders everything with the mind, words and actions to the Lord. The concept of bhakti is depicted in Sri Pada Saptadi is Pada Sevanam. The devotional lyric poem by Milpatur Narayana Bhatta, Sri Pada Saptadi praising the goddess enshrined at Mukkola and contain, containing 70 verses in the Shardula Vikrita meter. All of them Describing the greatness of the feet of the goddess, the more popular as Narayaniya, this is also a lyric of considerable literary merit. Melpatu Narayanapata is the most scholastic and the eminent Sanskrit poet and the grammarian of the entire history of the Sanskrit literature of the Kerala. Some information regarding him may be traced from a sloga which is seen in Prakriya Sarvasam. Bhukhande Kerala ke Sarida Meha Nila Muktarayana Iva Navak Shetre Gavyuti Matre Pune Rubari Navagrama Namni Swadami Tarmishtat Bhatta Dandra Thagila Madhavado Madhra Dattha Dujendra Jado Narayana Kyo Niravahada Tulam Deva Narayana Kyo According to this verse, his name was Narayana. He was born in the family of Melpatu situated near the Tirunavaya temple on the bank, north bank of the river Nila in Malappuram district in Kerala. At a distance of Gavudi, that means, uh, that is approximately three and a half miles from the famous Tirunavaya temple. There is an another Devi temple known as Chandana Kava. Melpatu family has settled in near this temple. His father, Madhudatta, was a reputed scholar in Hatami Mamsa. Uh, his mother belonged to the great family of scholars of Payurmana. Uh, he was the disciple of great scholar uh, Achyuda Pisharedi. He, uh, he has written more than 40 works. Prashastis, Totras, Descriptions and uh, Muktadas are included in their minor works. These works are written in, the stu in his students' days. This work shows his poetic ability and his knowledge of various Shastras. Gosri Nagara Varnanam, Kailasa Varnanam, Veera Kerala Prashasti, Manavikrama Prashasti, Bimbalisha Prashasti, Devanarayana Prashasti, Sukti Sloga, Ashwalayana, Kriyakrama and Muktadas. The major works are Devanar uh, can be classified as scientific and literary. The scientific works are Prakriya Sarvasam, Dadu Tavya, Apaniniya Pramanya Sadhanam, Manameyodhyam. The literary works again can be classified into narrative and the liter uh, lyrical. In narrative literature, Chambukavyas are the important works and the important Chambus are uh, Swaha Sudhagara, Matsyavadara, Subhadra Harana, Ashtami Chambu, Rajasuyam, uh, Panchali Swayamaram, Dhudavakya and Niranasuga. Among the lyric works, Narayaniyam and the other two small compositions, Guruvayu Purayusha Sava and the Sripada Saptadi are the important ones. The Sripada Saptadi, it is composed during the last days of Bhattadiri who worshipped the goddess and lived in Mukkola. Mukthala, previously known as Muktisthala, the place of salvation is also known as Mukkolekel, uh, which is a part of Ponnani Taluk of Malapuram district in Kerala. Narayana Bhatta, the author of Narayanam, became afflicted with a disease in his dream. The goddess came and told him if he comes to her temple in Mukutala worshipping the Bhagavadi to attain salvation and he would be cured of his problem and brought a very great poetic as well as devotional work in praise of Mukkola Bhagavadi containing uh, the slogas adorning with the lotus-like feet of Bhagavadi. The Mahatmya of Padharavindas of the goddess in the famous Mukkola temple is a of the scripture. 
and uh, narayana bhatta's unique poetry shines beautifully in all these verses in uh, this work though very poetic the work is not a simple direct language the poem is a lyric of considerable literary merit the legend has it melpathu's life was in mukkola from the age of 70 to uh, at the age of 86 uh, uh, sri pada saptadi is a uh, composed immediately after the arrival of uh, uh, mukkola uh, In Sri Pada Saptadi, he takes the reader to the height of Sanskrit poetry and the devotion. In his uh, his uh, description of Devi's bounty to grace is exit and elevating. He dwells with a lot of imaginary and incomparable beauty of the holy feet and the divine child spot of Parvati in Himalayas. Uh, it is believed that the Sri Padas are ever full of mercy, compassion, and munificence, and bless the devotee without weighing his qualification. Uh, qualification as Devi but Dakshada Khara Pallave Lesa Dasim Dakshodwage Shulani Bamurve Phala Khojwala Kadi Tadanya Stanya Hastambujam Shula Grahaga Kasaras Shuras Shiro Nishtam Prakhishtam Surehi Jushtam Ishta Phala Pradam Bhagavadi Mukti Stalam Bhaje The poet brings out in his initial verse as the graphic representation and the description of the image of the Bhagavadi Dutha at the Mukti Stala who possesses a shiny sword in his uh, lower right hand resembling a tender tree and the trident in the upper hand a bri- uh, brilliant shield in the upper left and the other left hand which is like a lotus poised on the waist directing the end of trident of the broken head of mahishasura worshiped by the uh, uh, devas Uh, here uh, at two points one uh, she is worshiped by devas the powerful devas vanch at the hand of a demon mahishasura propitiated devi and begged her to eliminate the mortal enemy the devi fulfilled their wishes and devas all her feet are praised her grace the second point is that devi is eager to grant the wishes of any devotee who surrenders to her it's not just devas who are recipient for the unlimited bounty but anyone uh, who submits for her help uh, the other one uh, Devi eyes are like honey bees and uh, where her face the lotus uh, shows bashful as the bees uh, happen to see another uh, full moon of uh, lotus and become very happy that no souls of fresh nectar and the other one the entire slogans are beautifully written by the poet serving the feet of the god those who pray for the liberation and bless with moksha this is the mercy of sri pada the eternal darkness in the being of tendency to associate with the self body mind intellect to see the world as their one self and in turn development attachment to them the internal darkness is the inability to see the feet as the self the source of all life knowledge action enjoyment and praying the devi's feet and the devotee is blessed the ultimate knowledge